Start. Yeah, hi everyone. Welcome on Europedia. And today I'm sitting with the Professor Jagdish, and he's a very erudite personality, Professor of IT Delhi presently in Electrical Engineering Department. He has been GNU Vice Chancellor and presently UGC Chairman. So we will be talking about a new education policy. And welcome, Professor, on Europedia. <laughs> Sir, you are the best person I can talk to because you have a very vast experience in engineering. You have been alumni of IIT Madras, and then you are I presently IIT Delhi, mm -hmm. electrical engineer and also JNU which is you know the temple of social learning in India professor I'll be talking some aspects of new education policy with you okay. the number one is my this aspect is related to so far we have been talking about specialization you know specialization of the professions right. we need to have scientists we need to have professionals who are doing very good in their own domain mm -hmm. you yourself is you know example of that mm -hmm. now we are talking about uh, professor uh, you know uh, adding certain more things to that like right. uh, engineers should know economy also why do we want this deviation professor uh, you see, today, if you look at uh, any of the challenges that we are facing, they have uh, global implications. Yes. Um, take the example of sustainable development. Yes. And if, if we had to go towards that, the people who are working in that area mm. should have the knowledge of science and technology. Yes environmental sciences yes. they should be aware of socio economic and cultural aspects yes sir. so unless we provide multidisciplinary education uh, we will not be able to provide this broader perspective of the world okay. uh, to our scientists and engineers mm -hmm. take the example of ai mm -hmm. if the ai engineers are developing certain technologies mm -hmm. how it is going to impact the lives of the people mm -hmm. um, the AI engineer can visualize only if the engineer has studied some elements of sociology, mm -hmm. some elements of uh, uh, philosophy. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the reason why we want to promote mm -hmm. multidisciplinary education. Right. And uh, this disciplinary boundaries are actually limiting the opportunities for our uh, students. True. Take the example of technologies itself. Yes. You need interdisciplinary knowledge. If mm -hmm. I want to build a drone, mm -hmm. I need to have some knowledge of mechanical engineering, right. some knowledge of electrical engineering, right. software engineering, right. or experts in these domains have to come and work together. Right. How will they work together unless they have I knowledge. think beyond my own disciplinary mm. boundaries? Mm. And that is why all universities must strive to impart this multidisciplinary education to our students. Okay. My next question very straight is how IKS and ABC is going to increase the employability index of the students? See, the employability opportunities of the students will increase only <clears throat> when they acquire skills and they have broader knowledge, um, in not only in their own discipline, but in the disciplines uh, other than their own discipline, uh, right? So, in order to do that, we are bringing many reforms. Mm. For example, we have introduced the four-year undergraduate program, mm. where students can major and also minor in mm. completely distinct areas mm -hmm. and they can also take ability enhancement courses skill enhancement courses mm. language enhancement courses mm -hmm. so we are providing multiple opportunities for the uh, students mm. and similarly we are now going to say that through our framework new mm. pg framework yes. that irrespective of the discipline that you study in your undergraduate program mm. you can join in a master program in any discipline mm -hmm. and that is how you can bring multidisciplinarity mm -hmm. i also want to say that when the students come to join in the universities in the mm. first year undergraduate program mm. it becomes very limiting for the student in terms of the choice of disciplines mm -hmm. for example if I have chosen commerce in mm. my 12th standard, mm. as a student, how much do I know mm. to make a lifelong decision in future? Mm -hmm. I will not know. Mm. But for some reason, I have chosen Tender. commerce, mm. but now I want to study physics. Mm. I want to study mathematics. Mm. Why can't we permit the student to make those choices? Mm -hmm. If you assess that the student has enough competencies mm. to pursue that mm. discipline in the undergraduate program or postgraduate program. Mm. So the mindset in our university system has to change. Mm. They have to become 
become more flexible mm. and look at the great opportunities that we can provide to the students. Last question related to very controversial point that mm. is mm. and that is related to you know sir teaching engineering and science in Hindi. Mm -hmm. Professor you are a Telugu studying uh, candidate you know Correct. you have studied in Telugu right. and I don't think you faced any problem in Indian education system mm. even if it was in English. Mm -hmm. You are product of IIT. IIT is right. teaching is in English. Right. Why do we want in Hindi professor? Because uh, it is proven scientifically that uh, students will become more creative and innovative if their education takes place in the language they are familiar uh, with. Uh, if they are taught in a foreign language, mm. their creativity levels are not given the opportunity to expand. Mm. Um, and, and, and in many other countries where they are uh, technologically and economically advanced, mm. uh, you observe that the kids are uh, educated mm -hmm. right from the school to the PhD level in their own mother tongue mm -hmm. and uh, our Bharatiya languages our Indian languages are so rich mm -hmm. and historically um, they are they mm -hmm. are there for so many years mm -hmm. I think it is the responsibility of uh, all Indians mm -hmm. uh, to promote and respect our Indian languages, languages. so Indian languages can be used during the learning phase so that the, the learning outcomes will increase. Mm. But English can be learned as mm. a communication tool because mm. we have to connect with the people globally. Mm. So both uh, have Instagram. to be there in our education system. Both will exist. Both will exist. It's not that some people are Only saying will, will. because we are Only promoting in, in, uh, Indian languages, um, this is at the cost of English, English yes. language. No, Good. English language also Good. should be learned Good. as a communication tool. Namaskar, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.